Hi and welcome. I'm Jesse Enright from Smart Yoga. And My Yoga Online has asked me to be here today to talk a little bit about the anatomy of flexibility. Now, there's many factors affecting range of motion or flexibility in the body. Uh, different shapes of bones and joints, um, warmth. But one of the major factors is the actual connective tissue and the fascia of the body. So the connective tissue is the, the fabric, fabric or the webbing of the body that creates shape for the muscles, that creates connection through the body. It's the one system in the body that if you removed everything else would give you the most complete picture of a human being. This fascial fabric is completely woven together as well. So a little pull, just like a, the pull in the fabric of my shirt down here, starts to affect the fabric up here. So how do we work with this connective tissue if it's tight, if it's restrictive to a healthy range of motion? Now, there's a few different structures in the body that are made of connective tissue. One is ligaments. Ligaments attach bone to bone. They provide passive stability so a joint doesn't dislocate or sublux come out of place. So we probably don't want to stretch ligaments as much. Tendons, which attach muscle to bone, also are thick, dense connective tissue. And if you overstretch a tendon, you can tear it or create laxity as well in the joint. So we're going to focus our stretching, our releasing of tension on the connective tissue around the muscles, which we call myofascia. Myo means muscle. Fascia is the connective tissue. Now, it helps to know a little bit about what this connective tissue is made of. It's made of a, a base substance that's very viscous and thick, liquidy, called mucopolysaccharide. Then there are two types of protein fibers within it. One is called elastin, which gives the connective tissue its, its elasticity. And one is called collagen, which gives it more its plasticity or shape.